Hey everybody. Um, just gonna make a quick video here to tell if you're, um, I got a 2007 Challenger uh, C-Do 180. Uh, it's a supercharged Fortec uh, Rotax engine here. And to tell if your engine is seized or not, um, there's not really a good way to get on here and crank it. And if you don't wanna tear your whole motor down to see if it's actually seized or not, um, here's just a quick way. You can take out your spark plugs and take out your coils right here. Just uh, pop your coils off, take the little connector off here um, and all three cylinders, uh, one, two, and three. And what I did, um, I took a quarter inch drive, the screwdriver hooked an extension on, hooked a even longer extension on. So what I did here is you just set it down on the cylinder. Um, and each one is going to be at a different height. That one's right there. This one's a little deeper, you know, because they're all sitting at different angles. This one's the highest one up here, so it didn't move that much, but it, it moves. So if you go on each one of them here, set that down in there so it's just resting on top of the cylinder head. And what I did, I took a big vice grips and um, I removed the hose, this here from uh, the front of the supercharger fan and it's just a couple of hose clamps and loosen this grommet up and slid it back and then there's a little plastic piece I know you can't see it very well that I lifted up uh, right here just it, it lifts up and then um, I put this vice grips on here so vice grips on here nice and easy and uh, so you don't hurt that shaft or anything so you don't got to go down and turn your actual blades and stuff too under your boat so when you turn this it's just gonna go back and forth like here so mine isn't seized you can see and you can see here moves up and down all right if one's not they all shouldn't be unless you got a connecting rod or something like that that's totally busted and it doesn't move moving it again Yep, moving up and down. Next one. This one barely moves because it's right at the top. But it's moving. That's a quick way to see if it's seized or not. And uh, if it is, um, I've had a seized engine like this before. I just take some uh, PB blaster, some penetrating oil. And um, I put it, uh, you know, put a little bit down there. Uh, to coat the top of the cylinder see if you can break it loose uh, the next day put it in all three and leave it for about 24 hours and then um, the next day you can almost get this in here and uh, push down hard enough on one that's midway the one that's top dead center uh, don't do that one because that one you're not gonna be able to press it hardly anyway but um the other one you can give a good press on or tap it with a hammer just not to um, damage the top of the piston so other than tearing everything apart I mean not your typical method but um, this works rather than tearing everything apart it's pretty easy so hope you enjoy and good luck out there